everyone, my name is Lauren. I am a rising junior chemical engineering major studying at the University of Rhode Island. But right now, I'm in Nashville. I'm at Vanderbilt University doing a summer research program, and I only have one week left, which gave me kind of an existential crisis last night because I realized I only had vlogged once, like one full day from this whole experience. So guess what? Today, you're getting another day in the life. It's gonna be a little bit different today. Don't worry, don't worry. Gonna keep it fun, gonna keep it interesting. But we have another full day in the lab. Right now, I am headed off to get a quick push day as well as maybe a little run in for a little warm up. And then afterwards, we're gonna head into the lab where I'll explain what I have to do today. But that's what I'm thinking. Right now, it is 7.08 in the morning. Again, a little bit different from last day in the life where I went for a run and I went to the gym later on. Today, we're hitting the gym straight away so that we can go to the lab, spend a full work day in there, and then head back once we're done. With that being said, I'm gonna get to the gym. So I hope you can hear me all right, but I'm just leaving the gym and I thought while I'm walking on over to the lab, I'd explain like the timeline of things. This program in all is 10 weeks and I am currently in the middle of week nine, actually a little more than halfway through week nine. A week from today, I'm actually gonna be presenting at a big poster symposium that's kind of meant to like cap off this whole entire program. So I'm super, super excited for that, but also really nervous because that will only be the second time I've ever presented a poster ever. So today I'm definitely gonna make sure to work on and possibly like pretty much finish a first draft of what my poster may look like because I want to make sure my mentors have time to look it over, my PI has time to look it over because I really want this to be as good as possible not only just for myself but also because the top poster, the top couple posters win a thousand dollars to go travel to a national conference to go present it there and I would really really love to do that because I'm super proud of this project and everything I was able to accomplish in such a short amount of time, like only 10 weeks. So I'm really gonna work hard, see what I can do. One week left here in Nashville. So with all that being said, for the first hour or so this morning, I'm going to be working on my poster, seeing what I can get done with that. I already have a pretty solid foundation, so it'll just be about mostly working on the conclusion section, maybe some future directions, that sort of thing. And then we have a couple other things to get done today. So at 10, I have to go run something called DLS on our particle protein samples. And that's basically just a test to give me the diameter or the size of the particles that we have created. Then after that, one of my mentors is actually gone for the weekend. So I have a couple tasks to do that he asked me to do for him. So one of which is something called mini prepping. And that's basically purifying out DNA. So I'm gonna get that done around 11, should take me about an hour, probably grab lunch in there somewhere. After lunch, things get a little bit more chill. I am planning on checking on my cells. I have a few cell lines growing and I'll split any of those if necessary. So you guys might get to see some cell culture later on today. Another one of the tasks that my mentor left me, tomorrow I have to split a ton of his cells. So I'm gonna write down and make sure I really know which cell line goes with which media and how much I need to split. I just wanna have it all straightened out today. Don't know what I have planned for dinner yet. As you guys just saw, I already went to the gym. So I'm basically in lab for the full day and then when I leave here, I'll grab dinner maybe with a couple friends, maybe by myself, but that's way in the future. Let's get to working on the poster and also coffee, breakfast, all that good stuff. So I'm about to transition to running DLS on my polymer protein conjugates. And I thought I'd just explain while you guys are watching the time-lapse what that's all about. I decided to post up here in the conference room that we normally have our small group meetings, our subgroup meetings every other Monday and Wednesday because I just love the space and there's a ton of windows. We're literally overlooking the Vanderbilt baseball field. 
which is crazy, it's a great view. But this morning I'm running DLS. So the major part of my project was creating these protein polymerosome conjugates. And we did that this past week. So week nine, we have one week left and we actually got the conjugation of our protein to our polymerosome. And just as a way to characterize it, we wanna run DLS which stands for dynamic light scattering, as a way to get an idea of particle size. Normally, we want our polymerisms to be around 100 nanometers, but in this case, we really don't know what's gonna happen, what it's gonna show. We don't know if it will still be around 100 nanometers or if the size will increase. We're also gonna be really interested in seeing the polydispersity index, or PDI, which will basically tell us if there's a large array of sizes or if it's a little more concentrated at around 100. So again, normally we want particles that are all around 100 nanometers, so that PDI value will be pretty small, like less than 0.1, ideally. In this case, it might be a little higher because again, some of the polymerosomes are gonna have one protein on there. We don't know the efficiency of tagging either, so there might be some polymerosomes with no proteins. I feel like that was really long-winded just to explain that I'm getting some size measurements on these protein polymerosome conjugates, and that's about it for right now. Now, here you guys are watching me do something called mini prepping, and on the outside, it basically just looks Looks like me adding a bunch of different chemicals, a bunch of different buffers actually to different tubes. Inside these tubes, we have our transformations of our plasmid into E. coli bacteria, which in turn generated a ton of DNA for us that will hopefully code for the specific protein, the specific fusion that we want. And in this step, in the mini prepping step, I am purifying out, extracting all of that DNA out of there so that we can send that DNA off, have it sequenced, and see if we actually obtained the DNA that we want to encode for the protein that we want. So from the outside, pretty simple, just adding a bunch of different buffers in a certain order, centrifuging in between, and in the end, you get a nice little purified sample of your DNA. Now, this isn't for my actual project. I was saying earlier how one of my mentors is actually away for the next couple days, and he needed this sample to get out, to get sequenced. Luckily, I've done this before, and I've seen him do it. I've done it myself. So I felt confident enough to do this for him and it's pretty exciting to be able to do this independently and be able to help him out with this project. It's now a little bit past noon. I just finished up the mini prep and I submitted that for sequencing. So hopefully it all went well. Hopefully I did everything right. Fingers crossed for me guys. Again, this isn't my project. This is something for my mentor. So a little bit of pressure, especially because this is also the first time I've done a mini prep by myself. I think before I eat my lunch, I'm gonna go and check on my cells. If I do have to split any today, I'll put the media in the water bath so that can heat up while I'm eating lunch and relaxing. And then after lunch, I can split any of those cells really quick before I take the rest of the afternoon just to kind of sit behind my computer, work on my poster, work on the notes I have about cell culture for tomorrow, everything I was mentioning before. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's go check on the cells. So good news, cell babies are looking nice and healthy. There's only one flask that needs to be split and that's our MDAs. So I put the appropriate media in the hot water bath and hopefully by the time I finish lunch, it'll be nice and warm so I can split the cells and then that should be all the like wet lab stuff I have for today. I'm also definitely thinking about treating myself to some Dunkin' today. It's like a 10 or 15 minute walk away, which is why I normally don't go. And same with like the Starbucks closest to us is a solid 10 minute walk. So I honestly haven't been getting a lot of coffee out. I just stay here and make coffee in like the Keurig or espresso machine that they have downstairs. But today I might need a little pick me up. I'm feeling like the 3 p.m. pick me up might be, might be necessary for today. We'll see. It could be a good combo to go with all the computer work I have this afternoon. So I actually just finished up my cell culture notes and I'm feeling way more confident about my situation tomorrow. But I also just got an email that our poster tubes are ready to be picked up inside the like Vince coordinator's office. So I'm gonna go head out and do that right now. It's so nice that 
yes, we're presenting our posters in a week and we're getting them printed here and all of that, but we also get to take them home. So they're providing us with the poster tubes and like up flying back home. So they're actually gonna ship it to me, which is amazing. It's definitely a really good keepsake and I might hang it in my room. I don't know. I don't know if it can replace the giant Harry Styles poster I have hanging over my bed, but we'll see, we'll see. So I'm gonna have a little brain break and head over there pick up that poster tube. I gotta say, yesterday I was in lab from like 7.45 to a little bit past 6 p.m. And although I had some pretty good energy yesterday, like I've made it through, did a ton of really cool things, which is why I had to stay in for so long. But I am certainly feeling it today. My energy levels, it is only 2 p.m. and I'm ready for either a nap or, or for bed. Honestly, getting into bed tonight is gonna feel so good. I didn't really sleep too well last night because I think my brain was just going a million miles an hour. All the different things we had worked on yesterday. So it feels kind of good to be like done actually physically being in the lab for the day today. Now I just get to be a little creative, get to work on some poster design, some figures, stuff like that. Package acquired. Time to get back into the lab and work on that poster for a little while. Yeah, so remember when I said I was going to probably go to Dunkin' or Starbucks and get a nice coffee? Yeah, that's not happening anymore. I am going downstairs to make myself a coffee because I need the caffeine, but I am not walking the 20 minute walk over to Dunkin'. As much as I want a Dunkin' cold brew right now, it's just, it's not happening. So we're going downstairs to make, I think I'm feeling an Americano. Here we go, first sip of that 3 p.m. coffee. It's fueling my soul. So funnily enough, if you guys saw my last day in the life video, you know we went to Hop Dotty for dinner, which is like a burger and fries place. We're, we're going to the same place again. It is 5.01 now, gonna meet up with just a couple of the girls tonight. It's not the full squad like it was last time. We're gonna grab a nice and early dinner so that I can get back to the suite and just relax tonight. I've gotten a lot of work done today and I'm super proud of myself, but now it's time for that work-life balance. Time to get some dinner, maybe some ice cream after. That's all I have planned out right now. So cute. Yo! Hello! We're going to get dinner! Let's go! <laughs> Ice cream flour. Great, very good. What'd you go for? I have ramble crisp. Right. And then one that has like chocolate covered ice cream powder. Okay. So, some classic. It's a good combo. What about you, Sarah? What'd you go for? I got the salted peanut butter and chocolate flakes. That sounds so good. <laughs> All right. And this is the only time that we've gone to get ice cream that I actually haven't gotten anything. And the only reason is because I have two giant half gallons. I have two giant half gallons of ice cream in the freezer and there's only one week left to this program and I have to get through these two half gallons of ice cream. So I said no to Jenny's today, but hopefully when my parents come to pick me up, I'll come back and try I really want to try the butterscotch popcorn flavor. That is why I didn't get any today. Just letting the other girls enjoy their ice cream. So I'll see you when I get back to the suite. We made it back. It is currently 7, 11 p.m. I'm gonna jump in the shower really quick and then I'll catch back up with you guys. But the rest of the night, I'm gonna make myself a fat bowl of ice cream, gonna watch some Netflix, YouTube, that sort of thing. So nothing too crazy happening, but I'll catch up with y'all after my shower. One of the things I've been really trying to prioritize the past few weeks is getting that work-life balance. 
So as you saw, my day started pretty early. It's like a 6.30 a.m. wake up, followed by the gym, and then just back to back to back things to do in the lab, fun dinner out with friends. And now that I'm finally back, it is my utmost priority just to relax. Not gonna turn on my laptop again, not gonna even edit this YouTube video or any other videos I have in the queue. It is just past 7.30 and I know that seems pretty early, but again, I feel like I've been going nonstop since I opened my eyes this morning. So for me to really push off the burnout, push off feeling completely mentally and physically exhausted, I am making myself just lay here and relax for the rest of the night. With that being said, uh, nothing much more is gonna be happening. I'm probably gonna watch some YouTube, maybe some Netflix, I don't know, scroll through TikTok, scroll through Instagram, all the things I really didn't get to do today. But I'm gonna close out the vlog here because I really don't think anything else is super exciting. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I hope you all are having a great summer out there and I hope you enjoyed seeing this day in the life of what it is like to be at Vanderbilt, doing some research. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, do all those normal YouTube things because it really helps me out. Stay happy, stay healthy out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.